Hi, good morning. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame from Chicago. And today I'm going to talk to you some more about uh, the advanced emergence of your inner body with your outer light body. So the inner and the outer are now, for a lot of people, at the point where the inner and the outer are merging together. What we will talk about, uh, first I want to give you a basis of what we're doing and what the origins of this is. Why we're doing this. Because a lot of this is very painful for a lot of people. And the reason it's painful is that it pretty much amounts to growing pains and letting go of old stuff. But um, there is a reason for it. I want to clarify that I myself, an illumined angelic twin flame from Source, I am part of the Magdalene Jeshua Soul Group, uh, who agreed to come here and bring this. Who are we? We are the angelics who are able to hold the highest vibration of love. And when I say hold the highest vibration, I do mean hold it. Hold it within our bodies and anchor it. Anchor it in the places we live or bring it to the places that we travel to. Um, spread it around our homes, communities, and we exude this love. An illumined twin flame is someone who has ascended through all 12 paradigms of experience in form and has been received and integrated all four of the primal divine feminine energies and these energies for us are for healing, creating, and now our own resurrection. Why are we doing this? We're doing this to be in love. A deeper, more intimate, more knowledgeable, sweet love. And we are expanding ourselves. We've stretched ourselves all over this universe. And a lot of people are tired. They are just bone tired. They're flat out tired with some of this. What is the 12 paradigms of experience? Well, this is commonly referred to as the zodiac. Um, 12 paradigms. There's 12 zodiac signs. But each of these 12 points do correspond to a set of experiences and knowledge. Now, we, can, we will get into more depth on that in some future videos. For now, I just want to tell you that this pretty much amounts to exploring the feminine and the masculine, all the sparkling parts, the multifaceted sparkling parts of who we are. And while we have sometimes gotten fragmented with this, we are pulling all our parts back together and reintegrating them. So there's a massive healing going on of both the feminine and the masculine so that we can merge back together right here. And there is something that we're doing that we're bringing to the table here, and that is we are bringing a brand new, new blueprints for our light body. Now, while the new light body may feel very familiar to a lot of people, um, I will just say that there are enhancements. It's like having the newest model of a car that is familiar and yet there's all kinds of bells and whistles on this car and everything is there for a reason. There's also a system of checks and balances so that things that have occurred, painful situations or situations where we ourselves were hurt, parts of us were hurt. People took our parts, used our parts, used us for their own benefit. And I do mean other entities, but it, it has translated here into other people. 
And many times you'll have people say, oh, you're just a bleeding heart liberal. You know, you're bleeding for all the animals. You're bleeding for this. There's In the spiritual realm, that is absolutely where you want to be. So where we're going and what the intention is, the expansion of your heart, that is absolutely not only appropriate, but almost crucial to ascending yourself and receiving your new blueprint for, for your light body. Now, some of you have come here already with your light body. How do you know that you have done this? How do you know you have your light body? Well, there's a couple of really simple ways that you can know this. And this is, when I tell you pretty simple, um, to understand that you probably have it within and maybe have bits and pieces of where so this will be a confirmation for you how do you know how do you know you have a light body light body within yes many of you do but not everyone and the light body how do you know one really simple way is when you rub your eyes you see sort of a kaleidoscope of images you'll see colors you'll see patterns and this is a really easy way to know now, should you go around rubbing your eyes for hours and testing yourself? You rub your eyes, you get the kaleidoscope effect. It'll give way to light, and you see the light within. That's your light body, right there. Right there is your light body. There's also a couple other ways that you know this, though. Another one being that you will um, feel vibrations. And sometimes you'll even feel these vibrations audibly, which means, how does this translate for you? A lot of times what it means is you'll just simply know, oh, my foot's telling me this, or my heart's telling me this. Different parts of your body are telling you things, talking to you. And the re it's how you respond, not react, but respond, that makes a difference. So a lot of what I'm trying to tell you uh, might just be confirmation for some of you, but for some of you it might be new information. And it's intended to calm you. It's intended to let you know that um, this is valid. It's real. It is your real experience and it is valid. I'm not here to invalidate you. And there's a lot of sensations and feelings, things you want to blurt out because you are ascending yourself. You are ascending here. And while this, um, while this does sometimes take the form of being very, very, very spiritual, and it is spiritual, it is your spirit that's anim animating your body and pulling your soul right into it. You are literally pulling your entire soul into these small human bodies. And that is no small task. It's not for the faint of heart. And it's not for people who we didn't come here to lose. That's all I can say. What does this require, though? The universe and all that is in source and our brothers and sisters would like some conscious participation in this. Uh, you, for your own benefit, should consciously participate. What do people into sports call this? Put some skin in the game. And what this means is that you are taking an active role to take good care of yourself and be aware that this is going on, that this is occurring. It may not already be clear to you what is, and that requires your faith and trust. It is a very physical ascension it is a very physical resurrection for those of us illumined twin flames and anyone who agreed that they will resurrect 
themselves in their entirety. And we'll go into that more in a future video. There are other, there's one other way that you can feel your light body that I'm going to touch on here. And that is that you have a, an ability to heal. Some of you know you have an amazing ability to heal. And sometimes it's been minor things. Sometimes your healing is very quick. And for some of you, you've had miraculous healings, whether it's something very big or relatively minor. Um, this is your ability to heal because this is your inner light body able to a certain degree to pull in energies for healing. And this is how you know. So many of you do have this. You know, you'll say, well, I got rid of that thing, or I pushed it out, or, you know, I didn't know how I did it. I just was very positive, and my intention was I was going to be here and stay here. And sometimes that's all it takes, making a decision. So I'm going to be covering other parts of the body in more detail in my next videos. Again, please remember that what I'm conveying to you here is a broad overview and you're all different. You are all amazingly unique. You all are bringing something very unique here because you, while you might have a job in your physical world, you're an amazing being who is here to do this. And this in itself, that you were here and you chose to be here, and like it or not, it is painful for some of us. Some people have been slogging through this for 30 years. Other people feel an ascension symptom and they have a crisis about it. It's all over the map, but uh, I want to bring you some calm and stability with this. And to remember, you are doing this to be in love. That is the key. We are the love. We came here to become ourselves again, and I mean physically become ourselves, and it is a process, and to feel the love in an even grander, deeper, more sensitive, just dramatic and passionate way. So, Thank you, and thank you for watching. I will have some other videos to come up next that will go into uh, the body and the changes almost section by section, system by system. So have a wonderful day. Goodbye now.